Hello, welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanson. Today we're taking a look at creating graphic organizers. One of the easiest ways to use graphic organizers is to import ones you've already created or downloaded from the web. I found these great graphic organizers at Education Place by Hoffa Mifflin, and when I opened one up, I saved it as a PDF to my desktop. Now in Active Inspire, I'm going to click on Import, PDF, and I'm going to choose one of those PDFs that I just downloaded. It creates around a new flip chart for me. And this page is its own image, so I can make this page bigger. And I can also use my page zoom here to make this fit the page. And because we're going to be using this together, I probably don't need the name line, so I'll move it all the way up. One thing about importing PDFs is students are going to be writing on top of this. You want to lock this background image. Now you can use handwriting recognition or the pen tool to add information to each of the layers. You might want to create your own. I can create my own graphic organizers using shapes or using shape recognition. If I do this using shapes, the color you see in this palette is going to be the inside color, and the color you see in this palette is going to be your outside color. So I'm going to put my outside color black and my inside color white. Now, every time I click, I'm going to be making a rectangle. I can use the connector tool to connect the rectangles. Now when I move one of the rectangles, the connector moves along with it. If I've created something on the page that I don't want anymore, and I'm not sitting near my computer, I can click on it and then select the trash can. And I'll get rid of it. Another great way to create your own graphic organizers is to use the shape recognition tool. It looks like this. If you don't have this in your toolbar, go to Tools and click on Shape Recognition. Now you have more of an intuitive method where you can create your own shapes. As you draw, it's going to try to straighten out your shapes to make them closest to the next regular polygon. The shapes I create with Shape Creator or shape recognition, excuse me, are editable. So now I can make them bigger and resize them. I can also add the annotations on top of them or add information to them. in a magic box in which a student would select something and take a look at it and decide if they think that's a cause or effect. I think that's an effect. I think that's a cause. Now I want to move this. I can group these all together and then move them down so I can have more room. Do these cause... Does this cause match this effect? Why or why not? Students could come up and explain why this caused this to happen. One of the great things about creating graphic organizers on your interactive whiteboard instead of on chart paper or on a whiteboard board is that I can just get rid of the annotations and keep the text up there. So the shapes I created with shape recognition are objects. The text is also objects. So if I click on the spray bottle and I click on clear annotations, I can see that any of the student writing was cleared away. Now when the next class comes in, I can move this text information back and reset my page. There's also a shortcut to do that, which is this reset page button right over here. Another cool thing you can do with shapes that you've created with Shape Creator is to set up drag or copy. And to do so, I'm going to click on the marquee handles and this menu right here. And I'm going to select drag or copy. Now when I click on this, 
I can see a little hand with a plus comes up. And when I click, it makes a new one of these every time. And they're all identical. So this is a great way to be able to create a graphic organizer where I can move each one of these around. One other thing you can do with graphic organizers that have already been created is to use the pen and eraser tool to cover up some of the information. I could then use the text tool to add in that information. I'd want to make sure that the text I added was actually above the pen layers. And I did that over here in the object browser. So now I can have a student come over here and bring ant into which category they think it belongs in and then erase and see if that matches. Nope, it doesn't. So I could have them erase over here and see, oh, ants belong in insects, and they can bring this over here. This way you can have and reveal some of the information in your graphic organizer or have students add to it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. Check out our Act 48 accredited professional development programs at our website. Thanks!